So, do you love to color code your handwritten digital notes, but you don't want to waste time toggling between the pen colors while writing? If that's you, then watch this video because I have a very nice tip for you today. Hi there, I'm Taz from Fresh Plan. Today I'm going to show you how to change the color handwritten text in NoteShelf. So one of the many advantages of digital note taking compared to traditional notes is that you don't need a pen of every color to be able to color code your notes and that's great. However, toggling between pen colors while you are trying to concentrate in class and make your notes can be quite time consuming. But the good thing is that with digital notes, everything is editable. You can actually change colors, move items and resize anything you put down in your digital notebook afterwards. So how exactly do we do that? First thing is that you can just highlight your text to add color and make a part of your notes stand up. This is very easy with the highlighter tool and it works just as a traditional highlighter. But let's say you want to change the color of your text. Then what you need to do is to select the lasso tool first and then circle the area that you want to change color. As you can see, I can choose from a variety of colors and I can also get custom colors. You can use this color tool to change to whatever color you want. And Note Shelf even gives you this massive library of color palette that already comes with matching tones. Isn't it nice? Once you find something you like, you just need to click to add it. Now you can find these colors in your main menu here. So now to change my text, I just need to click on the color I want. And since we are already editing this, why not to go ahead and increase the size of this text to make something more prominent. With these two, you can select only a few words or you can select an entire sentence and change color of everything at once. The only thing you really have to pay attention is that you are selecting the entire area that you want to recolor. Because if you leave a little bit out, even though it's part of the same word that has been selected, it may not get colored. So you really want to go around and make sure that your selection captures everything. You can also zoom in if that makes it easier. If you liked this tutorial, consider subscribing and liking this video. I have a quick video showing you how to add stickers super fast in NoteShelf. If that's something you want to learn, then click on the video on your screen and I'll see you over there.